Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. There is something inside of you, child of God, that is shining so bright, you know, that is shining so bright. It is not about the physical. There is somebody, people judge you easily because of your physical appearance, because of your physical experience. Maybe they look at you like, oh, you don't have what they need. Let me tell you, child of God, you have more than what they need. You have more than what they need. Because the world that we are living in, they look at the physical garments. They look at the physical appearance. But God looks at the heart. And that is specifically what God is looking at right now when it comes to your issue. Hallelujah. Because the word of God makes us to understand that we should rent our hearts, not our garments. So when we rent our heart before the Lord, we open our heart. Like we just open up our heart to the Lord. There is a light that shines through that heart, through us. Anyone that refuses to see that light, they are the ones that are easily quick to judge you with your physical appearance. You need to understand that we are living in a world where people just look at the appearance of somebody, they conclude on the person. Yes, they conclude on the person. They conclude on the person. I'm talking about believers. I'm not talking about those that are living a wayward life, that are being dressing naked, <laughs> drawing all sorts of things, doing all of that, than, than those that know that what they are doing is wrong and they are in it, they are enjoying it. No. We Christians, we don't enjoy sin. Though we fall into temptation, we don't enjoy sin. That is the difference between someone that fears the Lord and someone who does not fear the Lord. The Bible says no one is perfect. We know this very well. So we fall into sin and we ask the Lord for mercy. So we don't just see sin and we are dwelling in it. There is difference between dwelling in something and falling into it. When you fall, you can move out. But you, when you dwell in it, everything around you becomes everything about that life. Revolve around that particular thing that he or she dwelling. Just like when someone dwells in a house and or you have a visitor and the visitor go. So it's two different things. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. What do they know about you? They know nothing about you. Yes, they judge you because of the way you speak. Or because of the situation you are passing through. Or because, oh, you lost a job or something happened in your marriage. They judge you and they want you to feel as if it is your fault. They know nothing about you. There is a light inside of you that is shining forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same ones, the same people that the devil used to attack people's home, people's life, people's job, people's marriage, people's ministry. They are the same people that will want to make you feel bad when you are not fighting that same battle that they brought into your life. Because people make themselves available for demons to enter and use. So after the devil have used them, now when their eyes, they will still be the same person. That will be telling you, oh, it is your fault. Look at the way you are now. You have lost this. You have lost that. God is our restorer. <clears throat> God is our restorer. They know nothing about you. As long as you rend your heart before the Lord, as long as you submit yourself before the Lord, that is a light that will shine, that is shining through you. Now, even that situation that they put you in, that light will drive that situation away. Have you not seen? Have you not heard? That the same people that attack you, they are the same people that judge you. The same people that attack you, they are the same people that will laugh at you like, oh, when you fall, may you not fall. May you not fall. You understand? Because we all have been in that situation. The ones that will come and tell you, what are you doing? You cannot do this. They are the ones that are praying that you should fall. When you fall, they will not come. Hey, we said it before. Hey, we said it. They said what? They said nothing. What do they know? What do they know about you? 
It is God that knows everything about you. Don't allow their imagination. The Bible says we should cast down the imagination of darkness. Don't allow the imagination of the enemy who don't even know who you are to stop you from shining. Keep shining true. The Lord is the one that judge. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.